guys, si Aiza na naman ito and welcome back sa aking channel um, Today's video, hindi tayo magluluto ngayon kundi magbibigay tayo ng isang reaction tungkol dun sa trending na Pinay na hindi daw siya masaya dun sa nare-receive niyang 2,000 dollars na bigay ng gobyerno sa kanya So, nakabreak lang ako ngayon dito sa trabaho ko at hindi ko maiwasang malungkot dahil nga doon sa nangyari na yon narito po ang video at panoorin ninyo 7 million dollars 100 million dollars want you to know that we'll be there to help you the announcement started in march millions and billions of dollars at a time money first to help workers suddenly out of a job and businesses not allowed to open the canada emergency response benefit will provide $2,000 a month. We're facilitating a wage subsidy up to 75%. Then came $9 billion to help post-secondary students, $2.5 billion for seniors, and money for farmers. $125 million National Agri-Recovery Initiative. All of it adding up to a staggering total, more than $150 billion and counting. So the question, of course, are these measures helping Canadians? Is this enough? Nim Calvez was laid off from her job as a hotel attendant, and she joins me now from Surrey, British Columbia. Good to see you, Nim. Hi, Rosemary. Thanks for having me. So you were laid off, not surprisingly, as hotels and the tourism sector closed down. What have you, uh, what have you done to help yourself, and how has the government helped you? Um, the government... Um help us with the CERB, the $2,000 um, benefit that they're giving us. But aside from that, there's not much available for for the workers. And it's pretty disappointing, but we're hoping in the long run or long term, the government will figure out something for the workers, especially in my industry, we are the most hardly hit because we 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 rely on tourism for for our business and for our our work and seeing how things right now it's gonna be a while before people want to travel or stay in hotels well and i think your issue is more complicated because the two thousand dollars is not just helping you it's also helping your daughter who is in the philippines is that right yes so aside from myself I'm helping a family in Philippines and I'm sending them money mostly every month and the living expenses in Vancouver alone is very expensive from $2,000 my rent is almost 1500 500 what's left for food in, and and um, groceries and that's that's nothing and I am using other resources like credit card to stay afloat. And, and how long do you think you can go on like that, Nim? Um, it's not long. Like after a couple of months, and I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm speaking for, for my coworkers, the hotel industry, and I'm sure a lot of us, not just hospitality industry, is hit hard with this. The majority of, of, of workers are, are struggling, and it's very devastating for for everyone to navigate in this um, hard times. Sure. Um, I'm going to talk to the finance minister in a moment. If you had anything that you wanted to ask him, what, what would you say to him? Um, I'd like the government to think of, of helping workers in the long term, because right now it's, it's fine. But after maybe a month or two, even right now, we're not okay. It's uh, where we lose half of our, our our wages, and that's very hard. But we can manage for short term. Long term, we need the government to think about how how are we gonna survive as as an mm -hmm. industry. As I've said, like we rely on tourism, and it's gonna be sure. a while before it's gonna come back. Who knows if we're gonna come back this year? We're thinking more likely it's gonna take us eighteen to twenty four months to recover and. Yeah losing our job it's we or we also lose our health benefits uh and our our right to return to work is 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 on jeopardy as well so we're not just looking at 
financially, but we mm -hmm. are looking with a big picture and our future. It. And it's very sad because a lot of us, we have put 20, 30, 40 years of our lives doing this job. And and it's, it's so devastating that we don't know what the future holds and no one can answer it for that. Right now, we're just waiting for for what's available to us and the two thousand dollars i'm not speaking just for myself i'm sure I'll, it's not it's not enough okay nim calvez thank you so much i'll put some of that to the finance minister uh, i wish you good health and uh, and good luck there thanks for so two thousand dollars two thousand canadian dollars is equivalent to almost seventy six thousand pesos ate seventy six thousand pesos saan mo makukuha yun Ako, halos isang buwan ko siyang pinagtratrabahon kasi yung $2,000 na yun is malinis na kartas na lahat yung tax. Yung bahay na $1,500, ilan ba kayo sa bahay? Kasi kung $1,500 yun at ikaw lang mag-isa, sobrang mahal. Kami sa $1,500 na yun, two bedrooms, hati kami. Plus pa yung, ano, kuryente. Kuryente is $50 something lang. Pagka independent na lang kung gaano kakalakas kumain, siguro doon nakakarami yung gastos. Pero doon sa $2,000, Canadian dollars na nare-receive mo from the Canadian government, you should be thankful na kasi napakaswerte mo. Dapat, hindi ka na mag not enough? How come not enough? Siguro nga sa'yo hindi enough, pero sa mga katulad namin, sobra yun. Hindi ko alam ay wasa, hindi ko maiwasang magbigay ng reaction dahil kapwa Pilipino rin ako eh. Isa pa, ang laki ng respeto sa atin ng mga banyaga. Hindi niyo ba alam 'yon? Kaya sobrang nalulungkot talaga ako. Nawala na ako ng gana ng kumain nung pinapanood ko. Ang daming nag-shares ng video mo nung pinanood ko siya. Sabi ko, "Oh my gosh, tapos ngayon nag-strike pa ng rally." Ano 'yon? Hindi ba dapat maging thankful na lang tayo sa kung anong binibigay sa atin? Dapat ho ba ganon? Yun lamang po ang aking reaction.